Hello, my name is Vladislav and in this tutorial I'm going to show you one issue I had with the Just Resize and we're going to fix it. So firstly I, I have an empty project, nothing special. Uh, I've just added one image which will be our background and one edit text, three buttons. That's how it looks like, nothing else. In order for me to show you what's going to or to explain what's going to happen better, uh, what we're going to do. I'm going to use the just pen and I already preloaded it. So that's what we have here. And when we click on the edit text, as you can see, a just pen does this. Just the edit text stays above the soft keyboard and the image is slightly pushed uh, upwards, which is perfectly fine. And actually that's what we want. We want the exact same thing to happen when we use a just resize, but the only difference will be to use the test uh, to have the test buttons as well above the keyboard, which sadly enough can happen with the just pen. And uh, let me say that there are a lot of issues with the just pen, the just resize and the soft keyboard overall. I'm going to make a couple of tutorials explaining some of the issues and how to fix them. Maybe it won't work uh, fully on the, all of the devices because there is like tons of devices on the market but maybe uh, at least on most of them it should be working fine. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first, let's change this to just resize and let me show you uh, what it looks like now. The exact same thing, but with just resize. And when we click it, uh, as you can see, it's already pre-loaded keyboard because the last time we had the activity open, it was uh, the keyboard was open. Uh, if you want uh, to remove this, I'll show you just in a second. But as you can see, we have uh, edit text uh, above it with the three buttons. The only issue here now, now that we have is that the image is not pushed upwards, but it's scaled down. So that's what we want to fix. Uh, as I can set uh, to hide the keyboard every time the activity opens, if it was opened previously, just put state hidden. And uh, yeah, here we go. Everything is uh, fine. The keyboard was not open. Uh, okay, now let's continue. Uh, in order to do our thing, uh, to push the image, first we have to add scroll view. We're going to trick uh, the Android with just this, with a single scroll view. Just set it to few viewport. If you don't know few viewport, just tells the scroll view to be stretched out to uh, fully, to fill the space. Let's add one uh, relative layout inside it. It does not matter. Actually, I'm using relative layout because I want the image to be behind the uh, behind our buttons and edit text. I don't want it uh, like linear layout to be one under another. Uh, maybe you want, uh, but uh, I don't know. Um, I haven't tested it actually the other way around, but uh, it should be it should be fine. Uh, so let's see what we have for now when we run this. When we run this, we have the exact same thing when we click it, but you can see it's a scroll view. It can be scrolled. Let's change that. Uh, let's actually fix our scroll view so it's not scrollable from the beginning, which is not hard at all. Just make uh, the, let's make our variable here. Okay, and add one on touch, reset on touch listener. Okay, and set this to true. So currently, if we run the project, we will have the exact same thing, but the behavior of uh, the scroll view should not be there. It's not scrollable anymore, which is what we want. So now, uh, in order to show the full image and not the squashed size image. We need to set the height manually to the image. Uh, we can do this and uh, in our case we want the image to be exactly the height of the device height. Um, and we're going to do exactly that. To get the device height we're going to call display get window manager get default and then we're going to load our display metrics okay okay let me 
just go like that. Let me tell you that I'm using this a lot. I mean, that's one of the best stuff you can use, I think, for scaling uh, and having one thing to look like the same way mm, on every device height, every uh, different density pixels for uh, maybe. I'm going to show you this in a different tutorial, uh, but it's a very good way of scaling everything on your application. So currently, I uh, also just uh, to remind you, uh, to tell you, use get real metrics uh, because sometimes I think there was one more uh, function that was returning not the full height. I, I just noticed it. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But get real metrics works perfect for me. And let's get our image now. Again. Okay, to set the height uh, programmatically, just get layout params. Uh, now we get the height from the display matrix. And when we load the image, uh, when we load the application, as you can see, we have our image, our uh, edit text and test buttons. One thing you can notice here is because it's not scrollable, I can scroll to the bottom currently, but, and remember that's a scroll view. We're just mimicking, uh, not mimicking, but uh, we're making the illusion that it's not a scroll view. Uh, as you can see, uh, our buttons are hidden below this and that's because it's emulator and when we get the height pixels, uh, it's returning plus this back button and uh, the height of this thing. Uh, which is perfectly fine because on the Android phone itself, it's not there. Uh, those stuff are not from the UI. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, just test it out. Maybe use some different metric systems to calculate uh, your stuff. But I think I, I'm right here. Okay, anyway, let's see what happens. Uh, when we click it, uh, everything is fine. The, the image is not squished and it's actually pushed uh, a bit upwards which is what we want. But now the buttons are uh, not above it because uh, a line parent bottom is not working anymore. And even if we remove it, it will be uh, the, the, same, the same case. I mean, it's actually working, but it's not doing what we want and that's to the buttons to be staying above the keyboard. So uh, in order to change that, we're going to add a new layout here. Uh, let's yeah, let's add new layout with wrap content. It's really simple if you think it uh, a bit, if you think a bit, because we're actually just tricking the system to work like we want it to do. Because Android is having some issues with adjust resize and adjust span from so many years that they're not still fixed. Okay, so what we did here is just one uh, wrapper that will be uh, we'll be stretching like we did the image with the image we'll be stretching this as well or not stretching just setting the height program programmatically get layout params height and again display metrics height now when we run this Uh, we're going to see. I, I'm doing uh, this for now because currently if we did not have the height stretched, the height of our view, let me show you. Um, let me, uh, let's just remove this here, this line, and maybe just set uh, background to the wrapper. Background, let's do a red one. When we run this, you're going to see that it's actually not full height and uh, you might say that it's not much parent and if you say too much parent again it will be the same stuff it just won't be stretched out because of the scroll view and to change that in our case because we want to, sim uh, to simulate like we have static background with 
no scroll. Remember that because in your case you might want to have a scroll view or something else. Maybe you have to twist it a bit more or I don't know, just a different scenario. And yes, we, we return it like this. Let's, uh, it actually doesn't matter. Maybe it can stay match parent. I don't, I don't uh, mind anyway. It, yes, so as you can see, now it's full height. Of course, because it's, we set the height uh, programmatically. Let's remove the color. Now, the other issue we had here is we want to move the buttons above above the keyboard. Uh, the keyboard. In order to do that, we're going to add listener to the scroll view uh, that checks when the keyboard is shown. Not exactly, but in our case it does. It, it checks uh, if there is some changes to the scroll view and uh, when the keyboard shows it uh, to the layout actually, the overall layout of the, of the application. And then we're going to scroll the scroll view downwards. New view on global layout listener. So we're going to use global layout listener for that. Again, let's set this to final. Uh, just because the Android is going to throw error because we're inside the, the function here. Um, we're going to ask a to add a post with runnable. And inside the runnable, we're going to say we're doing runnable because we want to touch us how to do it uh, with the scroll. We want to say to the scroll view to be full scroll every time down if focus down if there if something happens to the view and we get to the global layout listener here we want it always to be scrolled down so let's see okay now you can see all the buttons are shown edit text is shown and when we click this bam everything works fine i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i hope i helped you a bit and if you have questions please do ask i'll try to help and thank you for watching